plan and didn't have to follow her. Dan, I was got 35 million to give away. <laughs> so, um, so our company's been deploying broadband since 1998. Uh, in 2005, we made the decision we're going to start building fiber at the home. And so we started this in 2007. Today, roughly 20, 25% of our subscribers are able to get fiber at the home with one gigabit per second. Some of the issues we have is very much like Monty touched on, is we've got these small pockets outside of city limits where it just kind of, it, just by the way the network has been built over the years, where we weren't able to get very good broadband speeds to. Um, you know, roughly 10% of the subscribers, unfortunately, can get 10 megabits a second or less. And so last year we applied for two grants, we got both of them, so baseball team can pay more. One in Fairville County and the other in Freeborn County. Um, combined total, if you looked at it, it was about an $800,000 project. Uh, some of the things we did, which I think helped us be successful with the grant application, was we got letters of support from our hospital administrators, school superintendents, the counties saying that yes, we support this, we want this here. We identified some customers who in those grant recipient areas who you know work for the hospital, who telecommuted, who you know just bring the economic impact to the area. Um, and, and part of it too, I mean, some of the matching we asked for less than the, the full 50% on the match to try and make our grant look a little bit better. Um, we were successful. The total between the two projects was 80 homes. You know, by the end of this year, we'll have a gigabit service to their home if they want it. Um, I don't know if the fact that we're going with fiber and right out of the gate, we can offer you know gigabit, which is a thousand megasecond, helps at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are some of the things we did. To reiterate what Monty said. Dan's office has been fantastic to work with. Um, it's just been really a wonderful experience for us all the way around. One thing I would add on to that is, is keep in mind, these, these funds are not just what is building it. This is an augmentation of what we're currently doing already. This is this is not either or. Funds are being made all the time by our companies to build these networks out of the field. This certainly happens, but it's not an either or. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, we're halfway through rebuilding the city of Pine Island right now by regular service. So by the end of next year, I mean, the plant will be in place and we'll be connecting homes up to this. That's all on us. It's, the grant is working for filling in those little holes that are just hard to reach, hard to get us into the building. And don't lose sight of the fact that, that, that carve out for the underserved areas, though, too, that can benefit uh, communities like